Hey guys, I got a fun video for you this week. This week we are going to be welding some carbon pipe, which for me is pretty unusual. I, uh, I haven't welded any carbon schedule pipe in several years, uh, so I'm a bit rusty here. And um, yeah, anyway, I'm gonna show you guys what I'm up to here. If you've never seen one of these guys before, this is a uh, H&M pipe beveler. They're pretty handy. Uh, they'll hold a uh, barrel torch like this, or you can put a plasma cutter with like a machine torch in them. And right here, I, uh, I had my torch set up a little too high and I ran a little too fast there and uh, I uh, roached the end of the pipe there. I had to start over again. It's been a while since I've used this setup. Really, you just need to you know consistently crank it around there. And I, I probably could have used a bigger tip. I'm running oxypropane. I had about 20 pounds of uh, propane and about 70 pounds of oxygen on a triple aught tip. And I probably should have gone up to a little bit bigger tip than that. But that's just kind of happened to be what I had in the torch. So that's what I was using here. I just had a little bit of time to play around. And I don't think I show it here, but all I had to do was just kind of tap that with a chipping hammer and that end of that uh, piece just came right off there. Just cleaning up the uh, bevel here. Uh, I had it set about 37 degrees and uh, just cleaning it up here with my uh, Milwaukee nine inch cordless. Uh, again, if you've never used one of those before, that thing is a beast. It, uh, it really will eat. I just tacked this pup that I had laying around, or not pup, but just a little drop uh, I had laying around on there, and uh, it, uh, oh, I started off way too hot here. I uh, was using my SAE 500, and I, I've never really used that uh, for pipe before, and I really didn't know where to set it. I, I kind of, you know, was playing around, seeing what worked, what didn't. Right here, I think I, I burned through the root, and uh, yeah, I had it set way too hot. So I turned it down a little bit here, but uh, on the SAE machines, you've got a, uh, a voltage knob and a current knob, and you kind of have to play around with seeing what you like as far as, you know, kind of volt amp curve. Uh, right here, I think I was set a little low, but I was fixing a hole that I blew in the root on the first pass. So yeah, it's just kind of a learning, uh, a learning thing here. You know, I, I really haven't done a whole lot of p carbon pipe, and then I really haven't done much in a long time or the last couple of years. So, yep, right there, that's where I blew a hole. If so if you're on a machine that you can actually just set the amperage on, I'd probably be anywhere between, say, 75 and 90 amps, depending on how much of a gap and how much of a land you have. Uh, this... Where I'm set right here kind of worked okay. I, I had to fix a couple of holes where I, you know, burned through the root there. And, uh, I, you know, not the best, but hey, you know, this is a practice piece, not an actual work piece. So I think on this piece here, I had switched to a 532 and was trying to run a 532 on my root just to see how that does. And I ended up liking that for the larger gap there better than the eighth inch. I don't do pipe every day again. This is just kind of, you know, a learning uh, endeavor here. Uh, this is a hot pass. I'm pretty sure I was running a 532 5P plus here. And again, these rods have been in the bottom of my toolbox for a couple years since I really have done a whole lot of carbon work. And um, they're a little rough and, you know, it's a learning experience. But uh, this was running pretty good here. I was pretty happy with the way this is going. I'm still a little not sure where to set my 500 here but I, by the end of this i kind of got it down and kind of had it where i was liking it if you've never had the chance to run on say like an sa 200 especially one of the older you know red face ones like they are just awesome like mine i have it dialed in to where for the cover pass here you know like i can just close my eyes and feel it like you don't even really have to watch the puddle this again, you know, I'm still kind of learning what's what, but I, I got pretty happy with it by the end here. So if you watch here, right about here, you can see where I had a bad spot on my root and uh, I, you know, burnt over it on my hot pass like this. Generally, like when I'm doing carbon pipe, it's usually like a water or an oil line, something like that. And it's not a big deal if you have stuff like that. I'm assuming if you're doing any kind of x-ray work, that's probably gonna be an issue. But for the type stuff I do, that's not really an issue. Most of the time, again, this is a you know, water line or a, you know mineral oil line or something along those lines. Yep, getting in the bottom of the pipe there. That's why I always wear earplugs while I'm running 6010s like that. 
All right, so this is the uh, this is the money shot right here. You can kind of see coming along on the top of the pipe, uh, working down the side here. I uh, I tend to run kind of hot when I'm doing a uh, cap like this. Basically, what I'll do is just run it so hot that it kind of sprays the puddle up there, holds it, and then as you move uh, down, it uh, it'll freeze. I, I think some people run it cooler and just kind of barely keep it lit, but I tend to run it real hot like that and uh, work my way down. I don't know if there's any right or wrong way. That's just kind of how I do it. And I kind of got a little out of control here. Like I said, you know, I don't really do a whole lot of stick welding to begin with. And it, uh, yeah, this was kind of a fun learning endeavor for me. It's about the time I had this one done, I kind of got the welder set where I liked it and was not actually running too bad. This is kind of how I like to run it here. Just a little soupy where it's just out of control, but just enough in control where you can kind of keep it where you want it. There's the root, not great, not horrible. I've definitely seen worse. Again, the cap, not awful, but I've seen better. All right, I'll admit that was pretty rough. Definitely not my best work. I really didn't know kind of where to set my uh, SAE 500 behind me here. I, you know, I kind of with an SA 200, I know which gear I like being in and what, what spot on what gear. With this thing, I'm just kind of turning dials and seeing what works. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. I hope you got something out of it. Check back next week for some more welding content.